What's up guys, it's Nate from the Potent Dev team and Activator has been optimized and updated for iOS 5. Now some of you are like, so what, it's Activator, everybody knows what it is, it's just same old, same old. Well, not exactly. So many of you know that Notification Center is activated with a swipe down of the status bar. Well, now you don't have to just have notification as the swipe down uh, from the status bar. What I just showed you there was a respring with the gesture swipe down from status bar. And now I can use notification center via a shake method, which is pretty cool. Well, let's show you how to enable this. Go in the activator and click on the anywhere box and figure out uh, what kind of activation method you want to look into. Okay, the the activation method I want to activate notification center would be uh, let's do swipe to the right. So you scroll down to system actions, and the very first one is activate notification center. All right, so when I swipe from the right on the status bar, notification center will come down. I'm not swiping down. Okay, there you go. Now you still have the swipe down feature if you want it, but you're not restricted to just that. Another major one that I want to show you is we're going to use swipe right of the status bar again. We'll deactivate notification center and we will go down to compose tweet. Now since Twitter has been integrated to iOS 5, you can use its um, tweeting powers to make your own Q tweeter. You no longer have to pay for the Q tweeter app if you haven't downloaded it before or unfortunately download a cracked version. So you can just pretty much tweet here from anywhere you want. I will go into a regular application. Let's go ahead and cancel. Open up settings. Swipe to the right. And it should pop up here real soon. There you go. Wonderful, isn't it? So guys, that's Activator Optimize. It's just a quick update. Some of you may not care. Some of you may already know. Some of you might find this video very helpful. Um, again, all it is is an update, so make sure you rate, comment down below, and subscribe up top. Plus, if you have any cool ideas uh, for the channel, make sure you tell us down below, and we would probably take it into consideration. So guys, again, Nate from the Pwn Dev team, and I'll see you in the next video.